एवरीवन वेलकम बैक ऑन द चैनल एंड हैप्पी नवरात्रि शुभ नवरात्रि एंड हैप्पी दुर्गा पूजा टू ऑल माय इंडियंस व्यूअर्स सो या लेट्स स्टार्ट द वीडियो सो टुडे वी आर टेकिंग अ लुक एट अंटिल डॉन अंटिल डॉन से वैसा थ्री दिस गेम ऑलरेडी हैव एफ एस थ्री इन गेम बट दैट्स ब्रोकन इन विच वे आई विल शो यू also this game is uh, set in very dark environment so yeah you might need to increase the brightness a little bit to see the game texture and everything so as you can see right now i am playing this game on 1080p high setting uh, wait let me turn off the motion blur real quick and uh, you can see it says upscaling method fsa 3 uh, so yeah i'm using fsa 3 quality it has frame generation like uh, if i enable it it will tell me that we do like to confirm the changes yes and we do like to keep the changes yes and even if i go it back in the game it does not generate any kind of frames it's just uh, stock like 40 to 50 shape yes uh, game looks good yes but uh, the fps is very low even by high end card margins like i have an rtx 2060 and uh, yeah it is still gives me around only 40 fps so i can't imagine how much the lower end cards like the gtx uh, 1050 or maybe 1660 will get even more uh, less than uh, 50 fps or 30 fps so yeah anyway let's uh, start this modding video without any delay all right so first after quitting the game we will be using this uh, dlss enabler latest this 3.02000 Uh, change log will be mentioned in the description you can visit that page to check out the change log because that change log was very huge and uh, it would take uh, 20 to 30 seconds to just show you the change logs so yeah i want to make it very short also there is music box and sounds playing everywhere uh, in my neighborhood uh, i got very little time to record this video so yeah, i am not bothering really uh, with the change logs so after extracting the zip we will find this uh, dlss enabler dlss enabler latest setup so old users will know what to do but if you are new to this kind of things uh, follow me i will teach you step by step so we want to run this dlss enabler setup then we want to click accept next next then in here we want to browse the installation directory of uh, until dawn uh, which is uh, wait which is here for me until dawn so after going inside until dawn we want to go again until dawn then again until dawn then windows then bits binaries win64 and uh, we want to copy this whole path like where this installation directory is so we want to click on the address bar here and that will select the whole address bar of this folder then we want to right click on it then click copy uh, then minimize it and we want to release uh, delete this previous path which was entered here in the dlss enabler setup and we want to paste the path we just copied now after click next and in here uh, you will need to select the enable support for amd and intel gpu if you have an amd or intel gpu if you don't have amd and intel you don't need to tick it i don't have an amd intel so i'm not going to tick it so if you tick it you will see these two things are uh, ticked by default so yeah uh, do enable it if you have an amd and intel if you don't just leave it Uh, so i'm going to select this uh, dll version then one more thing you need to select this registry file tick because uh, we will need to disable the registry check if you have used only scalar or similar kind of mod uh, before this so yeah uh, tick this one install reg enabling disabling driver then click next then click install it will take a few second then it will get installed now after installing we want to go to the installation folder again where we just uh, copied the folder and you will find there is a file called dis disable nvidia signature check which is just created after the installation of dlss enabler so we want to double click on it then it will pop up to say yes or no so just click on yes and click on okay all right now the mod is installed so i want to dive back inside the game now and see uh, how much fps we are getting and how we can activate this uh, fps boost so yeah let's dive into the game now get microsoft xbox game pass at 750 rupees per year and the ultimate game pass including all the third party launchers like ea play ubi soft and blizzard and others at 1499 per year 
all right uh, we are back inside the game now fps is still around the same because we have not activated the frame generation by the game's graphic setting so yeah we want to head into the setting then wait this was not meant to open this soon uh, then we wanna go inside video and uh, if you scroll down now you will see you can enable the dlss even on non-rtx card but keep in mind this is not the real dlss this is the fsr 3.1 so if you want to use uh, other upscalers like xcss or fsr 2.3 the custom one i will show you that in a second but first let me turn on the frame generation so after selecting the dlss it will tell you to turn on the dlss by another tick so enable that and after that you can select any preset you want I'm going to select quality after that it will say to enable dlss frame generation so we need to enable that uh, don't set it on auto just select on enable but do not enable the fsr frame generation because that is bugged in the game right now maybe the developer will patch but yeah we don't want to use that right now we want to use the dlss frame generation uh, set it the settings like this and after that press escape and click on yes and again it will ask you to save the settings so click on yes again go back inside the game and now you can see the fps has reached 90 99 98 uh, maybe even sometimes 100 uh, as i'm recording in 4k or it will it would have reached uh, even more than 4k I was not, sorry not the 4k um, even more than 100 fps uh, my bad there if you don't have the amd or intel card uh, you won't be able to use the real dlss it will use the fsr 3.1 which is a uh, pretty bad quality in my opinion so you can switch to xcss uh, by just pressing the insert key on your keyboard and this kind of menu will open up on your screen now from here you will need to select the xcss or you can use this uh, other custom versions of fsr also uh, i will show that in a bit but if you can select the xcss uh, and click apply and it will now set your game subscaler to xcss which is similar to dlss but a uh, little bit worse and little bit better than uh, fsr 3.1 so more uh, some people uses uh, fsr 3.1 along with uh, if you press the apply button you will see another upscaler menu will appear here uh, some people use this combo like fsr 3.1 with uh, fsr 2.3.2 custom upscaler and this is also good like uh, this is very dark area so you cannot really see any changes in the graphics or anything but yeah uh, my guide is to make the way to the mod and the rest of is up to you guys which one you want to use but if you have an rtx just stick to the dlss and you should be good to go the music box should be playing at any moment now so i'll stop the recording here I hope this video will help you if this helps you you can uh, subscribe to the channel uh, if you're having any issue uh, comment down below don't forget to join the discord for more upcoming mods discussion and uh, cheap games and windows keys and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one until then cheers